hi, come on in. Let's do some tarot together. Welcome. Welcome. Glad that you are here. Taking a look at the second week of January 2024. And I see many Gemini going into this <clears throat> world of trying to maintain order. We've got somebody that's getting taken advantage of in your in your spiritual message. We've we are seeing that Gemini has met their match. And I see a couple of different scenarios. So hold on. If everything that we be working on go into shit around in a situation due to a fraud, a scammer, and somebody who's being taken advantage of, and somebody here we have a strong bond with. Yes, we have a strong bond with. So let's just start at the beginning in someone who doesn't feel like this is right absolutely does not feel like this is right and having to be overprotective having to protect the order of things the order of things the eight and the nine of pentacles side by side with the devil in reverse and empress it's almost like the exorcism, somebody calling a priest, call a priest, call, you know, like, whoa, what is this thing? Who is this person in front of me? So it could be a Gemini who you reached out, you know, something's going on as simple as a man dressed as a woman sends you a picture, cross dresser, and you're like, whoa, that's not, you know, because what I'm seeing here is somebody who looks like a zombie. It could be their, uh, the way they are on the inside. It doesn't mean they're unattractive. It's their spirit, their physicality. Th what this is doing is bringing in the need for patience. Because what doors are closing is to the, you know, the order of things. It's, it's the harm, the harm, the harmony of the day-to-day -day in our life is really being disrupted. This is disrupting a loved one of yours. This dis is not who, like you asked, you were just calling an old phone number and you were like, is this so-and-so? And they're like, somebody else has that phone number now, you know, and they sent you a picture and you're like, whoa. Um, this is somebody dealing with a loved one who... There is a fraud around. Yes, Spirit is saying that someone is being easy to take advantage of. And you have met your match, though. So I'm going to have to clarify because the Ace Lotus came up in reverse. They not the one. You've met your match. And this person, this situation, because I don't see a person. So in general, this situation is disturbing. To say the least. Let's clarify. It's like a zombie world over here. We're tr It's like, can we trick them to leave? Almost like an exorcism. Metaphorically, it could be that serious. You could have some had somebody who went to church with you and they had to vomit out their demon like you know in the middle of service they ran out the door you get this picture of someone on the phone that's not attractive to you this person is just not who somebody else thinks that they are so that nice loving person that has a strong bond with somebody else that we know they're being taken advantage of spirit says most definitely most definitely. And so, are we trying to clean out the closet here? We're trying to clean out and cleanse this. We're trying to uh, just get rid of some old phone numbers, make sure we have somebody's right phone number. It's that simple. We do this, and then we meet our match because it's something kind of comical. But then, I do see a very serious situation for many Gemini in where we don't feel 
and or somebody that we know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, somebody's not right. This isn't right. This is disrupting the order of things. This is disrupting a loved one that I have a bond with, Gemini. So water and air be one sign apart sometimes. Learning from each other's differences. This is forcing someone out of their comfort zone. So again, being very uncomfortable. And sometimes we are one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six. No, be five. Forcing us out of our comfort zone. Trying to maintain the order of things. To make this the way, to make this right. To fix this. So in order to fix this, devil in reverse is our spiritual message. The door closing, again, is to the person that we thought that they were. These people as we know it. You know, um, love harmony, the order of things, and what door is opening is to uh, happen to be brave. That seven of swords. It's very, very tricky door that we're opening. Spirit saying, be careful, you have met your match. And then in love, we've met our match. And so we're over here trying to uh, protect and fix the order of things currently just short of calling a priest to do an exorcism because it's that that's the vibe. Your spiritual message is that uh, look for other positive cards such as the lovers, the two of cups, which is the empress, to tune into, into your intuition to find that this relationship is in alignment with your higher good. So spirit says, if you are trying to align everything to its higher good, and, 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 you know, it's, it's going to be easier than you realize. It's going to be easier than you realize. Because someone will look for you. Someone, I mean, will not look for you. Okay, so, okay, someone that does not look... Okay, so you're going to know, boop, that's not my friend. Nope, they sent me a picture. This is, no, nope, this isn't. And then y'all joking around like, is that a dude uh, dressed like a chick? Yes. Okay, so this chick looks like a dude. Um, let's see what else we're trying to say here. You know, they will not look for you. Okay, so don't go looking for trouble. If you go looking for trouble, trouble's going to find you. And it looks like coming in, temperance in reverse, a five of wands down here. And Seven Swords, all that. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Mm -mm. You have to be... This zombie land, this zombie land, uh, to me, this is definitely um, trickery, being conned. And somebody, and y'all over here be like, nope, that's not them, that's not the one. And then somebody else is like, I'm not the one. You've met your match. And this is totally with the five of trees down there disrupting. So, five of wands. Trickery, disputes, fighting and arguing. They are fighting and they argue. Look at this. Don't, don't even, don't even knock on my door right now. I don't, I don't want this person in my house. Um, and then don't, we're going to go ahead and delete that number. Like, yep, nope. So whoever got that other phone number, you're not interested in them. Um, whoever's with somebody, y'all just are not interested in them and their new beginning. Causing fights and disputes. Oop, let's switch decks. Let's go to the Oracle. Don't forget to like the video for me. If you want to be a member, you know what to do. I'd love to have you. So glad that you're here, Gemini. What's going on? Tricky, 
they tricky tricky and they will not they won't if you don't bother them they won't bother you um, but if you try to do something about this and try to make some brave move you're you're gonna be you're gonna meet your match on this one and then so he's like wow we have really this is uh, it, it's also going to be, you know, it's, it's a very dark, somebody's going to a very dark place in what we're going to do with this person or these people and what path should we take? I'm over here trying to do this in the right way. Thank you, spirit. We don't really know what to do. Just short of calling a priest. We got cards going everywhere. The Phoenix, Five of Lotus. The Phoenix waits. Is knows how this will turn out. Who knows how this will turn out. Well, I want to know how this will turn out. And there's a whole bunch of cards on the floor. Sometimes holding on to secrets can contribute to a growing level of guilt. Okay. So we feel guilty. That we got to do something we don't want to do. Like, I'm sure for the people who loved the ones who have to have an exorcism... They feel guilty about them too. So their loved ones even feel guilty for some reason. So the other person that had the phone number, you talked to them and said, look what somebody sent me a picture of and your guys are having a good laugh. The other ones of you are just like, wow. Wow. I'm going to just move in over here and y'all are over there and like, don't come here because you're trying to protect and maintain the order of things you have met your match the five lotus look at it closely it's a boat it's wreckage it's why have we met these people so let's go with okay so if we have this passionate, these passionate people that are so passionate about what they're doing. We're very passionate about this as well. One, two. Friends. Romance. Snuffing this out. Calling on us. Very tricky situation. And how can I use my abilities to the fullest? How can Gemini use their abilities to the fullest? I, the six of birds in reverse. Wow. How do we translate this? What? Again, the door's closing. We see to the harmony of things. Opening up Seven of Swords in reverse to this fear. Fear. It's scary, right? Dust like dust scary. We are scared. They are we are scared. I think we I think we that's like that picture we got on our phone was well that was scary. <laughs> and then you're like this person who had to throw up during church or whatever. Very dramatic. Somebody being taken advantage of. It's going on all around you. Brawling. We can't win, but we try to defend our own nest. Continue. That's all you can do is defend your own nest. So in defending... So while you be January 10th, our angels will be with us. And yes, it is, try, it is trying new things. So I see somebody moving closer to uh, defending 
defending our close ones. We're just going to do that. That's a good thing. This is who they try and to defend. And how do we survive this? We have no chance of surviving this tumultuous surf. But it was in reverse. I think you do. I think we can uh, work this out to a happier frame of mind. So you will, again have a laugh with a friend over, oh, that wasn't you. No, that's that's not even who, I mean, like, this is different. This person, this, this, this entity that we're trying to exercise out of the home because it's bringing heartache and grief can make you feel guilty that you got to push it out of the home or that you got to push it away. But we're not going to let this take advantage of us. But I think that Spirit is trying to convey that knowing that this will actually eventually heal itself and the tide will recede, then this other person will be able to see the truth. Otherwise, you are stepping into a very hazardous, very dangerous situation. And so this is being able to see the truth. We figured it out. We will figure it out. The first week of January is never a good time to start new things, even though we have this nostalgia. But the good news is, is that by the second week, and having taken time to plan and prepare. So this is, I see you moving closer to protect your home, to protect this loved ones. Because somebody has met their match. And somebody is definitely being taken advantage of. And we're trying to get that out. Stop that new beginning. And this trickery and this loss is very hard. Be very difficult. So we don't think that we can show them what we know. And we know that what they showed us is some bullshit. So, or some showed someone and it's us protecting our home and our life and our loved ones. And these other people message is like, what they be like? Destructive. Like the devil. This is your confirmation. I suppose in that. Killing people with kindness is your best route, really. I mean, we're thinking some dark thoughts in that fashion. Like, whoa, no, this is dark. That ain't right. The devil. What is up-leveling? Hiding their deepest, darkest self from others, keeping it a secret. Even what you want to do about that is really a secret. Um, we're dealing with fantasies, addictions, habits that don't. It's a secret. And we want to contribute. How can we contribute to a growing level when we feel guilty if we of the things that we might have to do because we do think about our, like the darker side this is somebody, they're showing our darker self. And it calls on us to be patient and brave. And it's really difficult for us to forgive and let this into our life. I think that it's a, we need to detach, um, protect yours. If these are people and things that you don't care for. Somebody's loved one with a very strong bond is very deta is very detached because somebody else they're very dependent on somebody else. That's why they've detached. It's a cord cutting. Is your advice? It's a cord cutting. Cut the cord. Untie the anchor. Because you've met your match. Kind of let that float away over there. Like keep that bullshit way over there. In their unhealthy relationships and whatnot. And unfortunately, I do see unhealthy 
attachments. Better for you to detach if you are thinking about doing some dark things to this person. I get it. You know, I get it. Let's clear that. Let's clear the energy. So let's maintain positivity here and go ahead and create magic with your loved one because yes, you've met your match in love. But unfortunately, somebody's match, they love somebody, they have a strong bond with them, and somebody they care about has met. And y'all want to fight this. Just sure to call on that priest and do an exorcism. Who, who went to church or was really dramatic at the holidays that we didn't want to come over? We didn't want them to bring this person over. Yeah. Cut the cord. Cut the cord. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your view. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do watch some of the other readings that I've done. I hope that we're able to cut the cord. Keep that shit over here, over there. Don't get too involved. If it's, if, if it's, it's not, you know. Because you can't control what other people do. You can only do you. Be careful there. They are destructive. And again, if you just need validated, yeah, that's not them. And they are that. You're right. But yeah, check the other readings that I've done for January. Check back for future readings. I will look forward to seeing you there. Thank you, Gemini. Bye-bye.